Well, if we had a text field and a button in our app, let's do that first. Let's go to home widget and return the container widget instead of center widget. Take a column widget as child of container widget and take a text field, a raised button, and our home contents center widget as children of column. The raised button requires unpressed pair. And let's pass an anonymous empty method to unpressed pair. And let's take a text widget as child of raised button to give the button a name. Let's restart the app now. We want to show the message written in the text field to the center of our screen. Now our data state will be changed every time user writes a new message. And that's why our home widget needs to extend the stateful widget. So let's implement the stateful widget. We can see a red is clearly on a home widget. Let's hover over it. It says missing concrete implementation of create state of stateful widget. So let's implement this. And now let's create a new widget and name it underscore home state. Well, Flutter has a new naming convention. Instead of using access modifier like public or private, Flutter uses underscore for making any class or instance variable private. Now let home state extend the state of home widget and cut the build widget from home widget and paste it in underscore home state widget. And now let's return the underscore home state widget from create state method of home widget. Save it and take back. Great, everything looks fine. Now let's change the data state of text field in next lesson.